Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Gunning Light here, back today with another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. So these predictions are going to be for Friday, December 9th through the 11th. So hopefully I will be able to get a couple of these predictions right for you guys this week. Now last week we got the Peregrine Greaves, the Crusty Alpha Loopy, as well as the Void Fang Vestments. Pretty decent gear, although he just sold all this pretty recently and overall as for the inventory, it wasn't that great. If you missed the last time that he sold this gear, it was probably good for you, but other than that, it really wasn't all that crazy, and he did sell the fourth horseman. So really, there wasn't really anything crazy that sold last week. It was all a bunch of just rare items, and hopefully you did pick anything up if you didn't miss it. But for this week's prediction, guys, we're going to hop right on into things. We're going to start things out on my Titan class. Now, like I said last week's video, we're still waiting for those Dune Marchers, and hopefully they will come sometime before Christmas and before the SRL, if not during the SRL update. Hopefully we will get be getting these Dune Marchers pretty soon. They have not been sold with Rise of Iron. However, he did just sell the leg pieces last weekend, so I don't think we're going to be seeing them this time around. So this time for the Titan class, I think we're going to be getting the no backup plans. Now, personally, these are a pretty great pair of exotics. I personally don't use them just because I like the movement of the Twilight Garrison a lot better. However, if you are a defender, these are some of the best golems you can run. If it wasn't for the Twilight Garrison, I would definitely be running these no backup plans on my bubble every single time. So like I said, if you're a defender, you definitely want to pick these up. Definitely rock these golems this week. Or anytime they're really on your defender, if you don't prefer anything else, these are some of the best gauntlets. And they're going to trigger Force Barrier upon every single melee. That's the best perk of these gauntlets, and that's what's going to really make things overpowered for you, is that constant Force Barrier. So those gauntlets are definitely pretty amazing. I would pick them up and really just get used to using them, as they can make you pretty unstoppable in the Crucible. Now, with all that being said, guys, let's get on into the Hunters this time. Now, like I said last week, you guys got Crest of the Alpha Loopy, which is pretty strange. I'm pretty sure that's two times in a row you guys got the same piece of gear if you're a Hunter. So I don't think we're going to be seeing another chess piece from the Hunters this time around. So instead of a chess piece this week, guys, I think you guys are going to be getting the Kepri Sting. Now, these are pretty awesome gauntlets as well. They allow you to crouch and go invisible on your Blade Dancer, and they also allow for a four times back stab damage while invisible. So the invisibility perks on these gauntlets are really the only thing that makes them special. Other than that, they're not really all that crazy. So if you're someone that wants to save a spot on your skill tree to make sure to go invisible with your gauntlets, these are really the only time that I would pick up these gauntlets. Other than that, I would save your strange coins and really just wait for a better weekend. Now finally, we do have the Warlock class. Now you guys have also got the same chess piece as well with the Void Fang Vestments. He just sold those not too long ago and it was really strange that he even brought them again. So this time around, I don't think you guys are going to be getting a chess piece either. Instead, I think you guys are going to be getting a helmet. So there is actually one helmet from for the Warlocks that Xur has never sold, and that just came out with the Rise of Iron. It's called the Astro Sight Verse. Now, if you guys take a look at this, you may not have even seen it before in the game. I know it took me a few weeks to even really realize it was in the game. But like I said it, before, it is one of the best-looking exotics in the game, in my opinion. Now, as for the perks of this helmet, the only thing it's actually going to do is lower the cooldown of your blink. So if you don't use Voidwalker or blink at all, you definitely don't want to pick up this helmet unless you just want to get it for the looks, because like I said, it does look pretty cool. Other than that, though, guys, this helmet's really not that great, but if you don't have it, go ahead and pick it up just to have it in your kiosk and just to make sure you have it unlocked. Otherwise, I wouldn't really go out of your way to go and get this helmet. Now, finally, we do have my favorite prediction, the weapon. Now, last week, I predicted a shotgun, and unfortunately, I was incorrect, and they brought forth horsemen. I still predicted one of the shotguns. Unfortunately, it just wasn't the one that they brought. So hopefully, I can change that this weekend and get this prediction correct. Now, before I give you this prediction, guys, just be sure to check the link in the description if you have not seen my video on all the updates coming next Wednesday, December 13th, because that does tie in with this weapon prediction. So, with all that being said, guys, with this week's weapon prediction, I think we are going to be getting the Thunderlord. Now, not to spoil that video too much, but basically what's going to happen is there are three new exotics coming into the game next Wednesday on December 13th. Like I said, I will leave a link to that video in the description if you guys need to get all the information on that. But basically, one of the new exotics coming out is going to be a spin-off of the Thunderlord, except it's going to have solar damage. So, what I believe is that we actually are going to be getting the Thunderlord this weekend, just to get ready for that DLC. Now, I could be wrong, hopefully I'm not, we'll have to wait and see on Friday to see exactly what he brings in the shop. So, as always guys, let me know what you guys are most excited for this weekend, and what you think Zer is going to sell. Hopefully you did enjoy this video, and I will catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of Destiny Trials Legend. Peace!